Hello and welcome to the Hawker Help Desk. I'm Kelly Royer with American Business Development Group representing Enersys, the manufacturer of Hawker batteries. In this episode, I want to talk to you about using a multimeter to test the battery. Before we do that, though, we need to be familiar with at least three electrical principles, amperage, voltage, and resistance. Amperage is the current flow of electrons through the system. Voltage is what pushes the electrons through the system. And resistance is anything that restricts the movement of electrons in our system. There are many different types of multimeters. A multimeter is an electronic measuring device used to measure such things as amperage, voltage, and resistance. But actually, before we test the battery, we want to inspect it. After all, there's no sense testing the battery if it doesn't pass inspection. If you're not sure how to do that, please check out our Hawker Help Desk video on battery inspection. Now, when we measure this battery, we want to take a look at its open circuit voltage, otherwise known as OCV. OCV is a battery sitting at rest with no loads applied. In fact, there shouldn't have been any loads applied or it should not have been on charge for at least the past two hours. To do that, all you simply do is turn on the multimeter, then make the appropriate selection, in this case, volts DC. Take your positive lead and attach it to the positive terminal, and the negative lead and attach that to the negative terminal. Then take your reading. In this case, it reads 12.86 volts. Now, a fully topped off hawker will read 12.9 volts. And just so you know, every 0.1 drop in voltage equates to about a 5 to 10% loss in the battery's state of charge. So if you have a battery sitting at 12.3 volts, it actually only has about a 60% state of charge. In other words, it's lost about 40% of its energy. Now, while measuring a brand new battery using uh, the voltage technique may be a very good indicator since the battery has very low resistance, that's not the case with a battery that's been placed in service and has had multiple charge and discharge cycles, or for a battery that's been set aside and, sell and let to self-discharge. And the reason is plate sulfation. Plate sulfation is a natural electrochemical process that takes place inside the battery. It's what frees the electrons to flow through your system and power your equipment. However, as plate sulfation increases, so does internal battery resistance. Let me illustrate this for you. If we know any two of the three basic electrical measurements, we can figure out the third by using circuit analysis based on Ohm's law. In Ohm's law, voltage divided by resistance equals amperage. So, in a new Hawker battery that has 12.9 volts and an internal resistance of 0.0017 ohms, or 1.7 milliohms, the result is 7,588 maximum amps, otherwise known as a dead short, like if you were to drop a wrench across the top of the terminals. Typically, a battery's cold cranking amps is about one-sixth of the max amps, in this case, slightly above 1,225 cold cranking amps, or CCAs, which is the minimum standard for a new Hawker battery. However, in a used battery, even though it measures 12.9 volts, if the battery's internal resistance, caused by sulfation, is increased to 0.645 ohms, that's nearly a 38,000% increase. The result is about 20 max amps, or three cold cranking amps. So while using a multimeter is a good first check, since it only checks voltage and not cold cranking amps, it's only a good first check. Obviously, if your battery is sitting below 12.9 volts, you know it needs a recharge. But just because it's sitting at 12.9 volts doesn't mean that it has the cold cranking amps to do its job. If you have any questions or any other battery-related issue, please visit us at hawkerbattery.com. While there, check out our one-page quarterly newsletter called Hawker Headlines, as well as our complete Hawker Help Desk training series in the Video Vault. Of course, you can always reach us on the Hawker Hotline at 877-485-1472.